it's a beautiful factory. It's really well, lovely. Yeah, it is a lovely factory. Yeah, and lots of interesting vehicles. Well, lots of interesting new vehicles over here. Mm -hmm. And the Offerance Hill. Mm -hmm. Yeah, lots of different colours, choices. You and your colours. Yeah. I'm sure they'll be able to yeah. sort your colours. Yes, I hope so. Hi. Hi. Hi, Hi. Hi. Hi, Robert. Hello. Nice to see Hi. you again. Hi. 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 How are you? Nice. Yeah. Good. Perfect. Good. Good. Well, always perfect. Good. How was your trip? Oh, absolutely wonderful. And we uh, were in South America for two years, uh, full of adventures. Uh, now we're ready for the next adventure. Yes, and that brings us to the question, since we come back, we're looking for something that's a little smaller for us, something below seven and a half tons to meet our license uh, restrictions. Well, it will be difficult uh, to build uh, a lightweight vehicle, which is still a real expedition vehicle. Uh, it has to be strong, and you know that. Um, so uh, we have to go for other materials. And uh, you probably have heard about uh, carbon fiber. Mm -hmm. They use it in Formula One, they use it uh, for yards. Um, it's, a, it's a high tech material. And uh, we have now started building bodies from carbon fiber. And that saves a lot of weight. So with this technology, we can actually build vehicles below 7.5 tons, which are still full expedition vehicles. Would it have all the uh, comforts and facilities? Uh, would we have to give up a lot in a, in a smaller vehicle? Well, in a, in a smaller vehicle, uh, you would have to give up uh, the fixed bed. Um, the smallest vehicle we can use is the Iveco Daily 4x4. Uh, the body length could be about 3.6 meters. Uh, it's still a very comfortable vehicle. You have a bathroom, you have your seating area, you have your kitchen, you have everything. Um, but no, no separate bed. But if you want a bigger vehicle with a separate bed, we can use the MAN 4x4 chassis or a Unimog chassis, which are both then uh, able to be licensed by 7.5 tons, while the Iveco is only 5.5 tons. Okay. You've, you mentioned just now carbon fiber. I've never seen carbon fiber used in, in vehicles. Do, do you have any, anything on show that we can see? Well, we've already built it, and uh, it's here in the workshop. Uh, it's outside. So if you want to see it, let's well, go and have a look at it. I'd love to look at yeah, it. Yeah, great. Okay, great. Right. Thanks. Go. Look at it. Yes, here it is. That's based on the Iveco daily 4x4. 3.4 meters wheelbase, 3.6 meter body length. It's perfect for two people and you can see that it's very compact. Okay. Is there any disadvantage with carbon fiber with the truck? Well, uh, the only disadvantage of carbon fiber is that um, it's very difficult to work with and that in the end makes it expensive. So um, you can't just buy carbon fiber panels, sandwich panels, so you have to make them. And uh, we use a, a, pro a process which is called uh, vacuum infusion. So you have to have kind of a mold and you produce each panel separately and uh, with the mold we have we can even integrate the profiles on the corners which finally connect the body. Are you still using the three-point subframe and the steel reinforcements? Yes, we, we definitely use uh, the three-point subframe uh, but we don't use uh, a steel reinforcement in the floor panel here. Uh, we actually use uh, carbon fiber tubes, which are specially made for that floor panel, which is another weight saving um, and uh, it's all the same material, so you don't have stress between different materials. Okay, here as on your other vehicle, you see that uh, there is a flexible part between the chassis and the body's floor. And uh, actually this is a pivoting part and uh, the fixed parts are more at the front. What, what is the water capacity and fuel capacity of the vehicle? Well, the fresh water capacity here is uh, 210 liters 
got, but could go up to 300 liters. And uh, we have installed the auxiliary fuel tank, um, which gives you a range of about uh, 1,500 kilometers in total. Wow, that's a lot. Yeah, battery capacity is uh, 400 amp hours with lithium batteries. Lithium? Yes, and with, with the lithium battery technology and the carbon fiber technology, we have a, a weight of the vehicle full with every fuel tanks, water tanks of uh, below 4,800 kilograms. So you have 700 kilograms of payload left. That's amazing. Yeah, and you also have a lot of storage area. So this is the outside storage. Okay. And uh, you can take your bicycles with you. And so let me show you the inside. So as you can see, the seating area is quite big. Um, it fits perfectly for, I would say, one, two, three, four, or even more people. Yes. And uh, when we lower the table and put the cushions here, you have a 1.6 meter bed. And if you want to sleep under the stars, huh? you just open the roof hatch. Oh. Just turn the handle above you, turn it all the way, yeah. turn it. Here we go. I like that. Okay, so here we have the kitchen with a gas stove and gas oven, the sink, nice tap, hmm. also carbon fiber. Okay, in the front part you have the bathroom, you have the sink mm -hmm. on the right side and you have the toilet on the other side. Mm -hmm. A roof hatch and the center part can be used as a shower. And the access door to the This front. is the access door uh, to the driver's cab, mm -hmm. yeah. Thank you, Thomas. That was really interesting. Yeah, it was my pleasure to show you. Yes, and it's really lovely that um, perhaps you could also do it in light blue throughout. Gabriel, you get any color you want. And you, of course, you can pick all the interior colors and you can design it the way you want it. Perfect. Thank you. You're welcome. <laughs>